This is Trevor and Susie Walter's property in Otrahonga, a 70 hectare effective, primarily grass based dairy system. Mainly river flats and some rolling hills. Yep. Show us around. Winter and spring are vital months for balancing pasture growth and providing quality feed for meat and milk production. Pasture depletion during cool weather and low soil temperatures have traditionally reduced farm incomes and increased costs with supplementary feeding requirements. When all other properties in the district were showing falling milk solid production, Trevor and Susie Walters achieved startling increases without increasing their supplementary feed budget. So, how did the Walters manage to achieve this? Increased use of nitrogen fertiliser? No. Luck? Definitely no. Their farm advisor, Brian McKay from Dairy Production Systems, offered them the opportunity to trial an interesting new grass growth promotant from New Farm. It's called Progid and is a natural plant growth stimulant that increases grass growth particularly in cooler conditions like winter and early spring when pasture growth rates are traditionally low. So Trevor, what were your expectations when you first heard of Progib? I was quite excited about it actually. I, th I thought that uh, anything's got to be better than um, having no grass so I'd give, give anything a go, especially in, in August or July, August um, when the growth rates are, are right down. I'd, I just needed something that's going to give everything a bit of a kick. Paul Addison turned up with this little 250 gram pack and said it goes on at 20 grams per hectare and I thought, what? This is ridiculous, like four teaspoons of, of, of granulated powder um, going on per hectare, what the hell is that going to do? But <laughs> it does more than I ever, ever would have thought. Could you see the improvement immediately? From the time we applied the stuff it was um, probably within three to five days we'd, we'd actually see a definite notice of, of what we'd sprayed and what we hadn't sprayed. We left strips in each paddock that we sprayed so you could actually go back and have a look um, as, a, as, as a definite, you know, was there a response or wasn't there um, and there was always a response. We never ever, never ever had a failure. Our consultant took pasture samples and um, sent them over to a, a laboratory over in, the, uh, over in America because he feels that they give more of an in-depth um, analysis of the, of the plant. So, uh, and, and the results actually showed that they're very much the same. So treated and untreated pasture quality was the same? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing in it. So, uh, very... But now we're getting more grass? Very much so. And Trevor, do you have any idea of the percentage change in growth rates? Um, we normally grow at about 30, 30 kgs uh, um, and yeah, when we, when we put this stuff on it, uh, it certainly climbed up to 50, 55 kilograms of dry matter a day. So yeah, the, we're, we're looking at a 60 to 80 percent increase, so uh, it's got to be good. And how have you changed your management program now that you've got more grass? Well, if you're growing grass, you've got to graze it or feed it, that's, that's where we get our money from. So about the 15th of August, we just opened the gates up on the cows and yeah, 20 day round straight up. You'd normally be on a 30 day round now? Yeah, most of the time you're on a 30 day round and feeding out supplements all the time just to try and extend as much, extend the first rotation as long as you can, yeah. 30 to 40 days, a lot of people. And did you keep the supplements at the same rate? We were feeding up to two kilograms of silage a day, but um, yeah, the cow started walking past it and they weren't eating it. We reduced it down to as, as little as half a kilogram a, a, a cow per day, just as a fibre content but they still just kept on walking past it, so we knocked it on the head, couldn't see the point in wasting it, so yeah. So now they're all grass? Now it's all grass, yeah. So looking at a production response, how's the milk check looking? <laughs> very, very positive. Uh, last year was a record for us, this year we're um, currently 11.5% up on last year. Um, September we had a, a record month ever since we've owned the farm, and that's like 25 years. And how do you compare to the district average? Well I think for the Waikato, um, I just looked back on the graph on the computer and they're, they're one and a half percent down for the season um, and we're one, 11 and a half percent up. The cows are better, uh, better condition, they're, they're half a condition, score better than they were this time last year. The average cover over the whole farm is sitting at about 2200, for, that was at the end of September, whereas you know it's normally around 1800. More surprisingly is, the, is if, if you put it on a graph, the graph is still climbing. Whereas um, middle of September we normally have a little bit of a pinch or feed, feed gap shortage in it and um, there's always seems to be a little bit of a dip in the graph but uh, this year it's going straight up and it's still climbing. So September is usually your most critical time yep. and, and this year you've got better farm cover than anything and the cows on a faster round yep. and better production. Better production, better condition 
and um, it'll be interesting to see what our uh, mating, mating results are. And are you into pre-mating heats? Uh, no, we, we, um, we just uh, we, we checked a couple of cows out um, to make sure that they're cycling and um, everything's on, on target. We uh, consistently put up 90% of the herd in the first three weeks anyway. But um, conception rate's always down around 65 to 70%, so it'd be interesting to see whether we can, by fully feeding them better, uh, whether we can actually get them to, yeah, the conception rate to climb. And how did you find the application ease of project? We'd go and uh, put the spray in on the back of the tractor every two days, every three days, and we'd spray the pasture behind the cows probably from day one after grazing, right through to probably the third, cow, the third day that they grazed, we'd... Um, We'd, we'd just do it all in one hit. Um, so it might take us an hour and a half, twice a week. So you're on a 20 day round, and after spraying and grazing, are you seeing regrowth? We were grazing this, um, the project pasture 18 to 20 days after we'd initially sprayed it. You don't get any depression in growth or anything like that. It, it, and, and when the project does run out, it just seems to revert back to normal growth conditions again. So. Uh, yeah, if you want to give it another another bit of a boost along, give it another spray, you know. The next application after you've grazed, are you seeing the same response? Oh yeah, yeah. What about the technical requirements for the product? The grass has got to be in a growing state or thereabouts. Um, it would be pointless putting it on with freezing, freezing conditions, but in colder conditions, um, you know, if the ground temperature is around 7 8 degrees, I, I think you get a response. We talked earlier on about the hillsides. What's been the response there? Well, a lot of a lot of hillsides or sidelings, um, the grass will only grow a certain amount. You know, like it's if, if you've got uh, two inches of leaf cover on a, on a steep sidling, then you've done pretty well. With this, with the projib that we put on, um, the the grass just keeps leaping out of the ground. There's definite lines that like it's twice as much grass growing off the sidelings as what we ever had, um, and you can see that the the stuff that we've sprayed, as opposed to the stuff that we haven't sprayed there'd be easily probably 100% more growth. Now, we're a bit of a cynical bunch. Are there any downsides? Um, probably the only downside is that uh, if it's raining, you can't get the stuff on or, you know, um, weather conditions certainly um, a, a governing factor. But, um, yeah, really, uh, it, it sounds too good to be true, but, um, yeah, all you need to do is spray, spray half a paddock and, and go back a week later and you'll, you'll certainly notice the difference. Guarantee it. So I think we're all going to hear a lot more about ProJib in the future.